Question, why should I invest in a hydrogen inhalation system? What up all my extra minute peeps? It's your boy Taiwan Hubbard and I'm excited to go ahead and answer this question for you guys. Thank you for voting on this month's Q&A poll. We really appreciate it. Uh, and so it looks like this question one is why should you invest in a hydrogen inhalation system? And so let's go ahead and get into it. I think the answer for this one should be pretty easy and quick. Uh, so this video should be pretty short. So let's go ahead and get into the answer. All right, so I'm gonna give you four quick reasons as to why you should invest in a hydrogen inhalation system. And then I'm gonna point you to a resource that's gonna go over uh, that question in more depth and give you some uh, really robust answers. So let's get started. Okay, so reason number one, I believe you should invest in a hydrogen inhalation system because there is scientific evidence to support that hydrogen inhalation is a therapeutic modality for humans. Uh, and so uh, there's just been a vast amount of research that's been done in this area with that in particular administration method, hydrogen inhalation. Uh, for a wide range of disease models showing that hydrogen inhalation has therapeutic potential. So that is reason number one, um, is that hydrogen is good. <laughs> so that's why you should invest in hydrogen inhalation system. Reason number two is, is that hydrogen inhalation seems to be a better delivery method to hydrogen to the human body than hydrogen water. Uh, also, hydrogen inhalation actually provides higher levels of hydrogen in the body, systemically in organs, in the brain, central nervous system than hydrogen water can. Um, as well as uh, sustaining those levels for a longer period of time. So um, they just have their, pu their pluses and minuses between hydrogen water and hydrogen inhalation. And this is where one, this is where hydrogen inhalation comes out on top. Uh, it's just providing greater levels of hydrogen to the body systemically. Reason number three is with the hydrogen inhalation system, you can do both hydrogen inhalation and hydrogen rich water. Now, granted, you can't do this with every device, but there is a vast amount of devices on the market that allows you to be able to um, produce hydrogen rich water and be able to inhale hydrogen gas. Uh, and so this is something you cannot do with a hydrogen water system. Um, there are devices out there on the market uh, that we've made videos for, for uh, or that we made a video for explaining why um, hydrogen water devices uh, should not be used um, as a hydrogen inhalation device. But hydrogen inhalation devices uh, with certain attachments like diffuser stones or those things can allow you to make hydrogen rich water at home. Um, this form of hydrogen rich water, uh, bubbled hydrogen rich, hydrogen -rich water, um, can produce therapeutic levels. So that's really good. Uh, those levels won't be as high as some hydrogen water products, um, but it does allow you to be able to engage in both therapies where hydrogen water systems um, only allow you to to engage in one. And so this is another reason as why you should invest in a hydrogen inhalation system. Reason number four is the method of hydrogen inhalation provides a level of ease that hydrogen water does not. And what I mean by that is some people find it far easier to breathe uh, for 30 minutes than they do to figure out the right amount of water they need to consume uh, in a day. And so uh, that's one level of ease. Also, um, some people can't consume um, large, large amounts of water, um, but they can, but they're definitely breathing. <laughs> so they can breathe, uh, for an hour or, or two hours, uh, in a day and just strap a unit on and allows you to do it while you're watching TV or, or, um, working or any, or anything like that. So, um, it's the method is breathing, um, versus drinking. And so I just, people find that far more easier uh, than they do with consuming water. Well, some people do. So it's just a very easy thing to engage in. Lastly, I wanted to share with you a resource, uh, which is our video. Uh, we actually made a video on this topic called Hydrogen Water Versus Hydrogen Inhalation. And we go through all the advantages and disadvantages of each administration method. And then we talk about some of the scientific literature um, addressing each administration method and how they might benefit your body. And so uh, you can actually watch that video. It's going to be up on the screen somewhere where you can go go ahead from this video and click on it. And it's going to explain some of these things in more depth and give you more examples of the pluses and minuses of hydrogen inhalation and hydrogen water. Uh, but I hope that these uh, four answers provide you with reasons as to why you should in invest in one. Um, we actually uh, go through the process through our sister company, H2Hub, uh, to actually evaluate hydrogen, in hydrogen inhalation systems and identify which ones are good and provide therapeutic levels of hydrogen uh, and which ones um, are not on our list uh, you can ask questions about and I can provide you answers uh, as if, uh, provide you answers with 
um, if they're actually going to provide enough hydrogen to be therapeutic or if they're safe based on uh, my knowledge of the industry. So uh, you can contact us. Uh, you can contact me at TaiwanNHUHub.com uh, and you can ask me those questions directly. Uh, but other than that, I hope this answers your questions. Once again, thank you guys so much for voting on this month's Q&A poll. Really appreciate it. If you guys want to follow us on all of our social media platforms, you can see it here on the screen. Uh, you can go ahead and do so. We really appreciate you guys uh, engaging in this and allowing me to answer your questions this way. And we'll catch you next month with the next poll. Deuces.